Hi everyone, welcome to the Big Lady of the Small House channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how the size of the pot matters for the hippiastrums that are usually sold under the name of Amaryllis. Uh, in two weeks' time, there will be exactly one year as I removed the three bulblets from the detached uh, basal plate. The basal plate gave three bulbs, and the biggest one was about this size. Now, as you can see, one year later, the bulbs are quite big. They're actually the commercial size. This is about the 24, 25 centimeters. That's the usually how the bulbs sold in the shop. And as you can see, all three are quite big. This was actually the smallest one, but it already gave the nice bulblet, baby bulb. This one was removed from this one. And as you can see, this is, this, these bulbs are about two years old and it's already blooming. If I kept it in a tiny pot, they would be probably the same size because they don't have enough space for roots to grow. They don't have enough nutrients in a, in a small pot. So these are the nine liter pots. When I planted it, it was about this, the level was about this high. So in probably in a couple of weeks time when I get more soil to, to re replace it, I'll raise it up, I'll remove all the bulblets. But as you can see, they're nice, they're big, they're solid, and they're blooming. And it's just two years, as you can see. Nice huge leaves, about a meter tall. So, if you want to have healthy hippiastrums blooming every year, give them as much space as possible. Uh, some, some of them, not these ones, but the others in the greenhouse, will be uh, reported into 15 liter pots. This will be, probably remain in, this, in, in, this, in the same pots, because obviously I don't have enough space for this one. And the soil will be raised really high. As you can see, the soil gets compressed with water and actually roots themselves, they, I don't know how they manage it, but they, they do eat lots of soil. They transfer it into, get all the nutrients and get just the empty, empty soil. So this is it. Two years old bulbs from this, which is about 11 centimeters in circumference to 24 and they haven't been in dormancy, they stayed in the heated window all year round. I mean, obviously, I'm not heating it in on summer, but on winter. So it stayed dormant, it was vegetating perfectly, and as you can see, got a nice cape here. So in probably three weeks time, I'll see the bloom. This is mosaic, and the bulb that, that I bought uh, was really damaged with mites and red blotch, so I couldn't rescue the, the mother bulb, but I got the three nice healthy bulblets from it, which are actually grown into nice and healthy bulbs. So give your plants as much space as possible, because they have huge roots, of up to, some have up to 60, some have up to meter long, it depends on the uh, type of the hybrid that they represent but generally yes 9 to 15 liter pot and you'll have these huge bulbs and nice blooming stay tuned bye